it is Monday. It is time to go to the gym. You guys, I haven't actually been to this gym in, I don't even remember, like three weeks because I was gone for two weeks and didn't go last week when I got back because I'm a lazy piece of garbage. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Just kidding. Um, but we're going to do a sick edit. It's going to be so sick. I think I'm going to do back because I... I don't know, I could literally pick anything at this point because I haven't done anything lately. So, get your party pants on. Hopefully this motivates you for your week. Get to the gym, work out, be better. How was it? I can't hold my steering wheel. Ah! Just kidding. Um, the workout was great. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Trapasaurus. Totally. Bringing the traps back. I pass by the hot now sign. I gave everyone downstairs. So. Oh, I was like, wow. These, these are hot too. now. I know. You shared that one Did with you me. Have no, we we're gonna share it. Can I get a bite? Lady in the Tramp go, style. Go. Bite yeah. at the same time. Come go on. at the same time. <laughs> Miley's like, let me get some. Let me get some. Wow. But what made you want to do this? Um. I was just being sweet. Oh, what? What you even doing? All right, so I dropped off my truck to get the tires changed. Out, um, I have new tires for my truck. They're pretty much bald on my truck right now. Here to have the rest of this. And so last night I was, I guess I was dreaming before I woke up and I dreamed that I walked out onto our balcony, which we don't have a balcony. And I was looking and my truck and one of the, the back right tire was off, like just like fell off and I was on the ground. So my truck was like leaning back and it was just like sitting on the truck bed. And I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? And I remember I called my dad and he like answered on his watch because that's what he does now sometimes. And uh, I was like, hey dad, this is really important or else I wouldn't call you so late because it was 10 o'clock at night and my parents go to bed way earlier than that. He goes, he goes, I know it's important or else you wouldn't call me. Okay, I gotta find my phone. And then my alarm went off. I don't know what that dream means, but I probably shouldn't drop off my truck to get the tires changed today after that. And 10 years ago today. Oh yeah, and 10 years ago today, on my Tundra that I had, I got the tires changed out. How do you know that? Oh, because it came up on a Facebook memory. I what, was a like, day. What, what are the odds? I legit just stepped out of my car and I was like this. That's where my foot was. I missed the pile of salsa that looks like bar. This is just, it's gonna be a great workout. All right, Wade loves whiskey. That's a tongue twister. Wade loves whiskey on a Wednesday. Say that four tastes, times tastes, as fast. Tastes, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so, well, it'll be funny for this Wednesday. Wade loves whiskey on Wednesdays while working. New tongue twisters. Anyway, besides point. So I wanted for Wade's birthday to get him some whiskey that would be really good. So I literally Googled best whiskey 2021. And this one came up, Four Roses Single Barrel. It actually looks really nice. They hand labeled the barrel that it came from and everything. So pretty cool. So we're going to blind taste test the four whiskeys. Me, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know a lot about alcohol, guys. Like, your boy used to get drunk on Natty Lights and Four Locos. Like, 
Natty Ice actually because it had a higher percentage alcohol. See, when I used to go get beer, I would look up there and be like, which beer has the highest percentage alcohol? That's the one I want. I don't drink for flavor, I drink to get effed up. That was Blackout Brad, Bob. That's what he used to go by. Bob was my drunk name, Blackout oh, Brad. Good. That's beyond, I'm past that Brad. I'm a new man, okay? So anyway, we're gonna blind taste test these. Austin's gonna pour them and then we're gonna guess what is the I don't know if the most expensive is the right word, but what is the best one? We're gonna rank them. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Number one. All right, cheers, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Tastes like college. That's strong. My whole mouth is just like, tastes like rubbing alcohol. Oh, that's strong for sure. It's good, but it's strong. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That one is like, I mean, I still, it's still like yeah. that. We poured probably like quarter or third shots and my whole mouth just is like, what, what is that? I mean, just alcohol, yeah. you know, just this straight up alcohol flavor. It's got some, I don't know, it's pretty good though. It is warm. It's like yeah. warm. Yeah, I mean, I feel that going down, Yeah, you bro. can, you can feel it good. <laughs> yeah. What's but, your guess? <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna guess. Maybe when I get done, we can. I'll guess which one was which. Okay. All right. Let's okay. get there. <sighs> Much more mellow. Not nearly as strong. Yeah. Not nearly as strong. That first one was like. <laughs> that one was a lot more. Mellow. Smooth. I did like the flavor better the first one, I think. Me Even too. though it was like stronger. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Like it punched you. But like that's an, that's like I would flavor. Yeah, like I could take a shot of that second one, like easy. Yeah. And be okay. But that first one, if I took a shot of that, I'd be like like a dragon yeah. afterwards. But I think the flavor profile of it was better. So like in a mixed drink, I think it would be better. Yeah. Okay. Or just to like sip on, like very slowly. This Number one, three. This, one, this, one, this one's really a lot in it. You wanna switch? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cheers, yeah. man. Turn Tuesday. That one's even more mellow. Either they're getting more mellow because we're drinking. No, I think they're getting like cheaper, quite quality ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my opinion, the first one we had was the highest quality one. Yeah. Just for my opinion. But. Yeah. Okay. My chest is burning. <laughs> Cheers, here we go, finishing off strong. Oh, f <laughs> oh, f <laughs> excuse my language, oh my god. So you don't like that one, this is the one I bought you. That, then <laughs> <laughs> that one actually had the least amount of bite to it, but the flavor in it was not good. Interesting. So I actually think that I would rank them in the order that we tried them in. Yeah, I would say so. Maybe switch to second and third, but That's, in general, like... I'm spot on with that one. Yeah. I would, okay. If I had to guess... The, I'm hoping that the first one was the one I bought you. <laughs> the rose one. Yeah. It, oh my god, is it the reversed? It's not, though. So the worst one isn't the one I bought him. Okay, good. Okay. That's all that matters. That's good. That's all that matters. Good. Number one. Hey, that dude, that was the best one. Yeah, it was strong. It was the one. That, so yeah, yeah it was strong. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> I will, like I said, as I tried it, it definitely is strong. This yeah. one is like the bite is, but the flavor, like for real. Yeah, legit. Just in case you guys are wondering, according to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. According to the Surgeon General. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> Consumption of alcohol beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. But anyways, Four Roses, really good. Go to wine.com. Not, not super expensive. Nice. Okay, number two. Okay. Old Forester. Or I guess for us, technically the it's one that we Woodford. like. Woodford, let's go! Woodford and then Old Forester. Yeah. And then the one that we were not a fan of. Bullet. Bullet. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Is that the one Dakota got you? Yeah. <laughs> so, I wonder if, are they different alcohol by volume, I'm wondering? It's 45% alcohol by volume. 
and this is 50% alcohol by volume, yeah. which may have been why that one, and this is 43%. I think I'm right around that too. And then this is 45%. So that is why the bite was a little bit more on but this the one. the flavor is good. Yeah, it had really good flavor, but I'm telling you, whew, that yeah, it was like... It, it punched, yeah. Well, uh, Damn, that was good. Well, I, I'm happy. I would have been actually very sad if this would have been this one. Yeah, uh, that would have sucked. Because it, like, <laughs> I, I would have I went back online and be like, your best of 2020 list sucks. But it's fire. So, that's right, good. that's it. Now I'm going to go shower, wait a few minutes, probably like an hour, and go get my car. Yeah, I'm sorry you had a tough week. That sucks, but I'm so glad that we are brightening your day. Uh, who do you think Letty looks more like at this point? Um, I, I seriously, I don't know, but probably Brad because his parents seem to think like he's a Brad or she's a Brad lookalike. And I don't know. I just think she's a good mix. Hey, do you want to get tacos tonight? And they go, I'm just not really hungry. And you're like, okay, well, I really want to get tacos. You want to go? And they're like, no, I don't. Is it okay for you then to go get tacos? I mean, I guess it's really like, uh, it's more of like a analogous type question because, you know, it extends to a lot of things in life. Like, when are you allowed to like go off on your own and do something that you want to do? Uh, a lot of people are like, well, if it's not disrespectful to your relationship. And I was like, well, ha have y'all had a discussion on what's disrespectful? How has Miley been with Letty? I mean, truthfully, she just is like pretty much like unamused with her. She just doesn't really. Yeah. Uh, I wish she could eat cookies. She's like, where's mine? Gosh, that's good. Where's mine? It's like marble cake. That's what it was. It's a marble cake. So yeah. it's like white. Like that. Yeah, I don't. I forgot. I'm sorry. Mm. Yum. I was waiting for you to tell me to talk. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I thought it was a skirt, but I realized it was a full. <laughs> no, it's a shirt. It's so cute. Um, no, I was saying how. We really need like a gate at the top of these stairs so that I can just let Miley out onto the landing and she could just like sit outside because she loves the sun. I feel like we don't have a place to do that. <sighs> yep. Oh well, maybe someday. It's a great idea. It's Thursday and I wanted to show you guys a little uh, trick that I've just started doing. Um, we used to buy some of those like ready to drink pure protein drinks. Um, just a nice to have like in the fridge if you're like trying to leave the house real quick and grab a drink. Um, or at night I usually do it and I just like, sometimes it's just so lazy. I'm like, I don't want to dirty up a shaker cup and then have to wash the shaker cup and like all that stuff. So to fix that, I went on Amazon and I found these little um, plastic containers that are meant for like, um, I think it said for like juices and stuff like that. They have these little black tabs in here that I don't like, so I'm probably just gonna throw them away. Um, but I go ahead and mix up some protein uh, shakes ahead of time, and then I pour them in here, and then I put them in the fridge, and then that way at night or during the day when I wanna grab something quick, they're already made for me. I don't know why people don't do that protein shakes ahead of time. We meal prep like everything else, so. That is what I'm doing right now. And um, this sound that's going on in the background, if you can hear it, I can hear it, uh, probably gives us some nightmares. It is the sound of the outlet sock not being connected. Um, and um, it traumatizes me. I feel like the outlet sock constantly is not connected. I, I didn't have it settle at all. I did shake it up before I drank it, but like they're clear and you can see it. And I didn't see it. I also like this chocolate stuff. Get a little chocolate flavor in there. But, um, I didn't see it like settle down and uh, at the bottom, but I did shake it before I drank it. Um, it mainly just kind of like is this like gr green brown color from the from the greens powder that I put in there. It's not very. It honestly looks like you you juiced uh, like a bunch of uh, like wheat grass and green veggies and you put it into a container. See this color? Yeah, that looks like health. Uh, Aubrey wanted to be able to display her hydro jugs, so we have a 
Yeah, some floating shelves. So it's not <clears throat> floating shelves to put up for that. The biggest problem you're going to have is if you want the tops of every one to be level. Uh huh. That's going to be a problem. Right. Because okay. then you have to kind of like measure right. the distance. Right. See, you, you didn't do it here, and that's fine. Yeah. You got what I'm saying? And yeah, I don't like think that. it has to be like precisely level, you know, but you know, I don't want it to go like be bouncing. I'm wondering if we have it, have it mapped out too wide. wide. Let me show you this. See, you see how yours and her picture is, is in the middle of that? Yeah. That's not a problem. Yeah. Then the next one, it'll be up higher and then yeah, we'll take this one and yeah. we need to just, it, so. Yeah, I think that we're just trying to, we're just trying to make a collage wall and we just don't want it to look stupid. Right. See, because this won't. I mean, yeah. I can, if, if you'll let me do it yeah. where we don't have to worry about lighting. No, I'm not worried about lighting them up. Yeah. Then, just got to clean okay. these off. I'm gonna put and what are we doing with them? Hang them up on the wall. These gaps aren't precise. Making a collage wall. I don't know how this is. I, I really don't care how this wall looks. I don't need it to look perfect. Brad just wants to display everything. I'm like, okay, put it all on that wall. <laughs> the wall that you can't see. <laughs> Dad helped me get started on this, and then he had to go, so I'm gonna finish it up. Comment down below what are the odds that I F this up. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do well. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. We did it. Huh? Yeah, so believe it or not, we, we were off by like a quarter inch, and all we had to do was lower the screw a quarter inch. Um, all this other stuff we did perfectly. Didn't even have to like adjust anything. Pretty proud of myself on that one. Um, so much more room to have all this stuff off the floor. So I want to get a couple of floating shelves for back here. Um, but that's it. We're getting getting close to being decorated. Looks sick. Yeah. because the house is a wreck. No, it's really not that bad. Brad is on a, uh, it, he's at like this like award ceremony. It started at 7.30 in the morning, so I don't know if it's like a breakfast type thing, but 7.30 was like super early. Comment below if you think that's super early for like an award ceremony. Um, but he just texted us and he's like, I'm up on a podium, this is so awkward. Uh, so it's, what is this called? I'll, I'll find out the name, but it was like, for a new building, I guess. It's like a new building award. Um, I don't know. We'll hear about it when he gets home, I guess. But here's a little picture of his like podium city. Also, what? someone on YouTube commented on one of your postpartum videos. They said, this is so crazy. I'm literally craving Auntie Anne's pretzels right now. So I was going to ask you. Do I do still, you still want them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Auntie Anne's. Like, I've always loved Auntie Anne's, but my love for them grew when I was pregnant. And I've seen a lot of people on Instagram too, like say the same thing. I think there's something about like the, probably the greasiness, the sodium, like that we just need when we're pregnant. Um, yeah, that sounds really good. Too bad there's not one closer. Hello. Hello. Do you like Andy Ann's? Hello. Looking fancy. Yeah, so I'm dressed up. Well, I, I had it all tucked in and everything, so. Already untucked, but um, Aubrey and I won the Apple of Our Eye award for like new construction for Fat and Weird. What? What a name! Apple <laughs> Apple of Our Eye. Yeah. yeah. So um, also um, just take a little tour around the room. Got the Hydro Jug shelf up. Got um, LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. A bunch of stuff on this wall, and then we got my UF stuff over there, and then the two paintings that got sent to us um, over there, um, which is pretty cool. And so now I'm just gonna get some floating shelves, I think, for back 
there and I'm gonna have a, my setup will be done. It, it already doesn't echo as much. It still definitely echoes in here, but not as much. I feel like we need something on y'all's wall, like that neon sign. I think that'll help the echoing a lot. And then we'll probably buy, I would say, just a couple of panels, like decorative sound panels, because I'd like to cover up the, um, the breaker box with uh, like a panel probably. And maybe we'll put another one like on the wall over there or something, so. Get my first reaction. So I see the back of them. I'm pretty excited about these. I was telling Austin that I'm not sure they're like what I thought they would be, but I don't like, I don't hate it. But you don't love it. I have to go it. like look at the picture again. Do you love it or do you not love it? Maybe I'll love it when they're in there. I don't know. That's, this is a really lame reaction, but I just don't remember that they looked like this. Let's go look at the picture. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess they're exactly the same. They look a little darker on there. Right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for confirming. <laughs> we got the dressers in our room, me and Austin. We are very strong people. Um, but first impressions, I think I like them. I, I have to like push that one back and move them closer together and then I think lamps like a matching lamp on each side is gonna like tie everything together which I don't have those yet um, but I think I like it we gotta see what Brad thinks though I think he's almost home hmm I'm gonna say that he doesn't like love them but he'll live with them that's what I bet Tell everybody hi. Hey. No, good. I mean, they're just like, don't really match the color vibe, but is that what you were gonna say? So what I said and is that- way taller than I thought. I thought they were three drawers. I don't know. No, no. Um, what I said was that I think you will like not love them, but you'll be like, yeah, they are nice and they might not work with like the browns. If it's just another brown tone. Yeah, I just don't think that they were the color I was expecting. I think um, if you put like lamps on either side, they'll look really nice. Like um, you just kind of tie it together. I'm gonna be honest, we need to put a, a uh, box spring under our bed because I feel like they make our bed look tiny. Yeah. They do. Yeah. I have a king size box spring. Where? At my parents' house, under a bed. Remember we built it for our old bed? You didn't like the way it looked? Hmm. I feel like a three drawer would have looked better. <laughs> Welcome to our new bedroom. Okay, so this weekend we put our bed up on a box spring, so now it's like sitting higher, which I didn't realize, like I kind of liked it low, but it looks way better now. Um, I didn't realize how weird it was, so that was on me. Um, and then of course, um, we have used our dresser for a couple of days now. Brad actually hasn't filled his quite yet, but I filled mine just with some um, like things that were in boxes and bins in my closet. Um, but uh, so far I like them. The drawers are a little bit like smaller than I was hoping for, but still it's like extra storage, you know? Um, so comment down below if you have any ideas for lamps, like what might look good. We're thinking like maybe concrete base lamps. Like I think that would look really cool to bring the industrial in here. Letty, what do you think? Oh dear. <laughs> um, Letty wants to say, remember to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Um, share it with someone that might find it useful. And ready, you're worth it.